What's up everybody? My name is Becky and today we are setting up my first grade classroom. This is my very first year teaching. I'm super excited. Obviously there is so much to do. The entire classroom is completely empty so I'm really excited to get started. So if you guys want to follow along and watch me set up my classroom then just keep on watching. Let's get into the video. So I'll do a very rough tour of everything. So right over here we have our table um, that's gonna have small groups. This is going to be a peace corner. We have a bunch of stuff that I need to unbox. It's very empty, very unorganized. I am so excited to get it all ready and clean for my kiddos. The teacher in this classroom before this has this like black wooden border paper and I love it, um, but I'm gonna take off the yellow and then put on these cute little hearts. Okay, so what I've done so far is I've been able to um, post my entire calendar area and my classroom jobs and my voice levels. I will show you guys all of that, but right now I'm working on my word wall and I realized that I didn't have enough room. So I got another brown um, bulletin board paper and put it underneath it, finish up all of my letters. I'm just taping them on and we'll see how it looks at the end. Hopefully it'll look good. Okay, so scratch that idea because my glue gun needs to charge. I think the next thing that I'm gonna work on is the number line. This was up from the teacher before me and it's cute, but I have my own. This is gonna be a chore. That's really high. We'll see if I can do it. <laughs> Okay, so this is as far as I got on my word wall today. Um, I just put the borders up on the sides and I'm gonna have to put a little bit more brown on the bottom so that I'll have room for my words for X, Y, and Z. And then I'll finish my borders tomorrow and it'll be completely done. I have my friend Margaret helping me. And then over here, um, finished my calendar. So I just did Velcro dots on all of these so that every single month I can just change it if the first is like on a Tuesday or something. Um, literally all of this is just Velcro dots and I'm super excited for this. I think it's so cute. And over here, I got my classroom jobs posted. These little clip pins are literally like glued onto here. So I can't get them off. So I tried to like make it even. And then I need to put Velcro dots here with the number of the student. And then I have my voice levels and the other ones over here. Um, and then I can just exchange them with whatever we are doing for the day. Then tomorrow I'll be back here and we'll finish it off. Well, as you know, there's always something. I'm literally so frustrated. I was hanging up my alphabet and my E fell behind the whiteboard. Now I can't get it. I tried everything. I tried a paper clip. It's literally just gone. Like it just slipped right underneath. I bought this alphabet for, I don't know, on Amazon for like 20 bucks or something like that. And I'm not gonna buy another one just for an E. So I'm gonna get creative. I kept the Z. I'm gonna go to Staples, copy it, the same color and everything, then white out, use blue markers and red markers to like rewrite the dots and then just make my own black Z and laminate it. 
I think that's gonna work. I'm gonna have to do that tomorrow morning. Oh, just add another thing to my list. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, we are in the car. We just finished day three-ish of setting up my classroom. I don't really know what day it is. It's all kind of blending together. I had a training all day today, so I just stayed for an extra like four hours after. My classroom is full of spiders, literally so many spiders everywhere i got to hang up my alphabet today i hung up my number line zero through 120 i hung up my other numbers i rearranged my classroom moved around the desk um also organized all of my phonics books and phonics lessons by module and also my science lessons by modules Whew, it was a long day it's seven o'clock right now i got here at eight o'clock this morning i actually have to organize some things once I get home so that I can run to Staples tomorrow morning and print out a ton of other things because my school doesn't have colored printers which sucks so I have to go to Staples. And then Friday is going to be a super long day of setting up everything and hopefully getting really really far. I definitely have to run to Target and Michaels and Staples before then um, to be able to get all of the things that I need to finish setting things up but all right well day three is a wrap let's move to day number four. Okay, good morning. It is Friday, 9 a.m. I am ready to take on this day. As you guys can see from the back, there is a lot of things back there that I need to haul in, and it is also raining, so that's gonna be fun. I'm really excited for today. I think it's finally gonna come together and maybe start looking like a classroom. We will see. Also, I realized that I said that we're going into day four, but for you guys, it's day three. Technically, it's day four for me because I came a day before I started filming all of this, so this is the fourth time I'm going into my classroom, but it's the third time that I'm filming, so we're just going to say it's day three, okay? Here we go. You guys, I just got into my classroom, and one of the other first grade teachers got me a card, and... A teacher survival kit with gum, highlighters, a Starbucks gift card. That is so sweet, I literally wanna cry. Okay, so the first order of business today is to do something fun with this wall. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make it my student work wall because every month we have to change out our students' work, which is just like artwork or, you know, some type of writing piece that they want to display. And so I'm gonna make like bold tin paper and borders and make it all cute so that their work is displayed and they want to do good work. Let's go ahead and try to make this cute. Good morning. Good morning. How's it going? Good. How are you? Well, pretty good. I think I got it. Okay. Yeah, this okay. is good. So I'm taking a little lunch break. I'm really tired and my head is starting to hurt. So I need some fizz, I need some water, and I need my salad. Got a lot done so far. I'm writing like a whole list of things that I need to do after I eat some food. So it's looking good so far. So I just spent quite a long time organizing the books that I do have. I know I need a lot more books, but this is all that I have right now. This top section is nonfiction books that are a higher level. This middle section is nonfiction books that are at a lower level. And then we have fiction. This is uh, chapter books. 
and these are seasonal books like Christmas, fall, spring, stuff like that. And these are the books that I'm going to be reading as read alouds for my first week. Um, it's called BU, Same, Same, But Different, and School's First Day of School. Um, so I'm just keeping those out there because I'm going to be grabbing them in a few weeks anyways. Also, these lights were so difficult. There was a lot of issues with them. This side of the wall, I don't know if it's maybe like the paint or something because we have to like hot glue everything because it's brick. So obviously like tacks don't work. Hot glue the safety pins or clothes pins onto them and they stayed up fine. And then I hot glued the safety pins on this wall and all of them just fell off. So thankfully I had those little plastic hook things that use command strips, but I just hot glued them on and they kept falling off and I had to try like a billion times, but we have them up. I'm not going to be surprised if I come here tomorrow and they're all gone and fallen down. So let's hope that doesn't happen, but I'm really, really liking my library and how it looks right now. And then I also got this rug from Facebook marketplace for like 10 bucks yesterday. Anyways, guys, this is what I just finished and on to the next project. I don't even know what I'm going to do next. We'll see. Good morning. It is Saturday morning. My babe Phil decided to come help me today now that he's off work. We're only gonna be here for like an hour and a half because we have to help some friends move. But the first thing is his job is unpacking a bunch of stuff. He's unpacking yes, like my drawers and whatever, my chair, my easel, and my clipboard stand. So he's unpacking those. And what I am doing, I have to hang up my schedule and I finally got around to going to Michael's and buying some more magnets. So I need to hot glue the magnets on and be able to set up my schedule and um, my phonics wall and stuff. So let's get started. <laughs> It is Monday, August 1st, and guys, I love when the first of the month is also on a Monday. I just feel like there, it's just like double the motivation to get stuff done. So today I have a jam-packed day, really just putting some finishing touches on my classroom. It's really coming together. My sister Tori is coming to help me put up some things, and I'll be able to kind of make a list of all of the last minute things that I need. Yeah, there's a lot to do, but I'm ready for it, so let's get started. <music> Thursday the 4th, Thursday before the first day of school. That means we only have one more day of in-service um, before Monday. Um, and then today we had a super long day of trainings. And honestly, guys, my brain is fried. I don't know how many of you guys are watching this that are teachers or are first year teachers or remember their first year teaching, but my brain is on like overload right now. Like there's just so much to learn like and what's hard is that I don't even have my employee computer yet or my login or my employee ID or my email and so it's really hard to feel plugged in and completely there and understanding when I don't have any of the resources in front of me so that's been hard and there's just like different ideas and activities and implementations and differentiation and curriculum and like five different curriculum books that you have to go through and like 
it's just a lot. It's making me really overwhelmed, but I also have to remember that being overwhelmed is a choice and that I will get through this no matter what and I have a really awesome team to back me up. So that's kind of how I'm feeling right now. Um, I'm currently in the Staples parking lot. I This is probably my seventh run to Staples now before school started. And then tomorrow we basically get to plan and just do what we need to do to get our lives together. So I'm excited for tomorrow. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, but like watch this. Probably the most teacher moment of my life. Apple in hand. Shark being What is up guys? I'm in my classroom today. It is Saturday before school starts and I just have a little bit of finishing touches to do. I can't wait to show you guys the final reveal of what it looks like. Um, but today I have to cut these, um, what are these called? Curtains. I have to create my children's book bags, set up my meet the teacher outside of my classroom, um, and just a few things. But it has been a roller coaster of a ride setting this classroom up. Let's finish it off and then I will show you the final product. <music> Also, these curtains were my sister's and she was throwing them away anyways, so they were completely free. And I got the rods at Bargain Market for $4, so, and both of them were $4, so really it was like $2 each. Um, so these are practically free curtains and they're kind of cute. <music> Thank you. 
All right, guys, we are officially done with my classroom setup. Oh my gosh, it has been a very long, oh, you wanna go? You wanna dance? Mm, mm, mm. It has been a very, very long process. This has probably been like over the course of two and a half to three weeks, and I'm finally, finally finishing it the Saturday before the kids come. If you're a first grade teacher or a first year teacher, just be patient with it. Everything will come together. I remember feeling so stressed and trust me, I still am. We still have to get through the first day of school, but I was so stressed about how my classroom would turn out and if I would have anything and Amazon wish lists are your best friend and things like dirt cheap, bargain hunt, places like those are also your best friends. And you also, it doesn't have to be perfectly ready before your first day. There's a lot of things that I wanna finish and do um, but I won't be able to do it until the kids are here and I know so many things are gonna change in the way that I set things up I feel comfortable in here and I'm really excited to get the school year started So thank you so much for watching this video if you liked this video and want to continue watching um, I'll be posting more vlogs and lifestyle and things about teaching so make sure to subscribe and We will see you in the next video. Bye Mrs. Lopez. Gonna learn today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the first grader. Is that the teacher fit too? Is that we're gonna show up in your first day? Yo, what up? What up, first grade? <laughs>